All right. I know I know people, I know I'm a big celebrity, I know it's a big deal, and people are like, what? Where's Ass Truth get his name from? Why does he just have this Ass Truth thing? Like, what's he talking about? I know that's what people are thinking all the time. It's been on all the tabloids, paparazzi coming around trying to figure out what's going on. Um, kidding, of course. Um, ask, seek, knock. Right. So we're gonna we're gonna get get into this. When I was trying to come up with a name, this was the verse that kept going over and over in my head. Right. But this is what Jesus is telling us. He says, "Keep on asking, and you will receive what you ask for." Keep on seeking and you will find. Keep on knocking and the door will be open to you. For everyone who asks, receives. Everyone who seeks, finds. And to everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. Right? So here's here's the big secret, right? It's not, it's not very difficult to figure it out. Uh, the passage where I got my name right is A is for ask, S is for seek, K is for knock i came out of some weird religious background um uh for for lack of a better better explanation i was an atheist for the majority of my life uh i started a new agey trend for a while uh with the new ages are all into like the eastern stuff buddhism was like the coolest thing ever like the story of of uh, siddhartha Gautama and how he became buddha like i thought that was like the coolest story of all time so then i became buddhist um, and then, uh, you know, through a fun little turn of events, uh, I found, uh, or I kind of refound, I grew up in a Christian house, very nominal, but re rediscovered Christ and rediscovered the veracity. And what got me into apologetics was, um, you know, I had a bit of a personal experience and I wanted to figure out what it was and if there was any truth, truth behind that personal experience for me, accepting, accepting Christ. And so what I've been doing ever since then is doing two things one trying to disprove my own position and prove my position simultaneously right so there's always a debate going on and i truly believe right i truly believe god exists um sovereign all-knowing all of those great concepts that most people believe uh, at least monotheists believe about god and i believe that if if you do this thing you ask you seek you knock um, he will reveal himself to you, you will find, and he will open the door for you, right? Um, Islam, however, that is, I think they have a different approach. What do you think? Yeah, I, I, I definitely think they may have a bit of a different approach. I'm not sure how you're going to phrase it exactly, but mm -hmm. I would say the uh, the the approach is do enough things to please Allah and hope for the best. Well, and where I'm focusing on this particular thing is asking. Can you question things in uh -huh. Islam? Or how far can you ask questions in Islam? Where is, where does your own reason? Yeah, so, so you know, as Yasser Qadi famously says, you can push a little bit, but, but right. once you get too far, you got to back off. You can't go any right. further. Right, there's, there's that red line right that you can't cross where he says you know secular scholars they don't have that red line they they see the problem specifically with the standard islamic narrative and they go well this this is a major problem for this like perfect preservation of the quran like when you read all the islamic sources the earliest sources about the um compilation of the quran what you find is it doesn't make any sense and even mentioned uh, kind of a parable about the emperor with no clothes he's like look to the rest of the world muslims who say that the quran and i'm paraphrasing muslims who say that the quran is perfectly preserved look a little bit like the emperor with no clothes right they're naked running around on the street saying look i've got clothes on when you're like uh you're the only one who thinks that like clearly based on all the evidence that we have that's a false that's a false um statement but what i was going to say about uh this particular topic about asking seeking knocking is is islam has a different approach and their approach is cult-like 